What's up guys, it's Brad from GBH Media here, back again with another Blender 3D shot breakdown. In this video I'm going to break down this shot I made of a jet flying over some terrain toward these mountains here. So conceptually, the environment of this shot is very easy to create because I use a technique called camera mapping. As you can see, when we look at this shot in its unrendered form, almost everything other than the jet is comprised of planes. When you use this technique of camera mapping, by putting the material shader to emit, you can often get away with setting up very simple scene geometry. Um, the, real, the real key is making sure that each image is in the right point in 3D space so that you can get um, plenty of parallax when you move your 3D camera. Anyway, um, the environment here is composed of several photographs. For the ground, I used a photograph taken from a similar angle to the 3D camera and projected that photograph onto a plane. I then went to cgtextures.com and started to find pictures of snowy mountains. Uh, once I brought those pictures into Photoshop, I cut out different portions of the mountains and saved them as PNG files with, with alpha channels. So once inside of Blender, I projected these photos of mountains onto different planes and started layering them into 3D space to create the look of a 3D environment. After adding a jet with a metal diffuse texture and specular map, I created a sphere with a bright emission material for the afterburner, uh, animated the jet moving, moving along, and then uh, rendered with motion blur to get this image right here. So this, uh, this shot looked a bit flat, so I added a Z-pass and mist effect in the compositor to give it a sense of depth, like uh, there was some kind of mist in the distance in the mountains, so everything was kind of faded in the background. Additionally, I added a glare effect to the afterburner, increased the brightness of the image a bit, decreased the saturation, and added a quick color grade. And then lastly, for the final touch, I added a bit of lens distortion and camera shake and after effects to increase the action a bit. Anyway, that's it folks. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps anyone trying to learn the process of creating in Blender. Like and favor this video if it was helpful, and uh, feel free to check out the JBH Media Facebook page in the description below if you want to get the latest updates on short films and quick tips. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next time. Place where they made these doctors in these days. Sector 9.